Good day collectors and viewers, Social Distance Warrior is back with video number 14. Today we're going to look at Chewbacca. Chewbacca made his appearance way back in A New Hope, so 1977. Uh, he was in the original trilogy, Han's co-pilot and buddy through Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Uh, first figure released to Chewie would be this fine Wookiee here in the front uh, with his Wookiee bowcaster. Now, Chewbacca is the first figure as a kid that my parents ever purchased for me. So I remember going to the store, again, anything alien, uh, anything off-world looking was was very, very desirable by me. I had no idea who it was. I loved the open, you know, roar and the blue eyes. I think that really kind of pulled me in. Uh, and the round head here, the way he's got it, he's larger than the other figures in the line. And he's definitely appealing. He looks friendly. He looks like someone that's a good guy. So they definitely pulled that off kid friendly and of course he still looks like somebody from the movie now he does have his uh, weapon there his bowcaster it doesn't have the t coming across but nonetheless it definitely is a different unique gun from anybody else in the line he's got a little pouch here that comes across from his bandolier a really nice color scheme to him and the bandolier of course runs through the back as well so chewbacca and of course he was in uh 1978 now, we got him through Star Wars, Empire, and through Jedi. And then, of course, the line, as it went dormant, as we didn't have any more Star Wars movies, we wouldn't see Chewbacca again until 1995. And in 95, when the Power of the Force 2 launched, they released a four-pack. And Chewie was one of the figures in that four-pack. And they re-released this original mold here. And, of course, that didn't get, you know, a lot of good reviews because... People wanted new stuff. They didn't want the old stuff rehashed. We were in a different decade and we loved Star Wars and we were so happy it's back. And, you know, soon after that, in 95, we did get Power of the Force 2 Chewie in an updated new sculpt and that'll be him here. And just like his, you know, partner in crime, Han Solo, and his buddy Luke Skywalker, everybody was juiced and beefed up um, super muscular superhero wise and Chewbacca was no exception as well he came with his bowcaster he came with a rifle as well uh, I was just happy to see Star Wars again and you know I got back into collecting and you can see he's got the swivel there on the waist you can you know move his arms up and down you can can't really turn his head it looks like you can turn it but you can't really turn his head he does still have the blue eyes and they did still put the open you know the open mouth but you can see he's very very muscular uh, but Nonetheless, it's Chewbacca, and, you know, it was great to have him back. Great to have the line back, for sure. So, that's in 95. Uh, soon after, they launched a multimedia event uh, called Shadows of the Empire, and we got, you know, Chewbacca on the card back here, and he came as a bounty hunter. So, in the multimedia event, Shadows of the Empire, they made a story between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and Princess Leia and Chewbacca, they were on a hunt to find Han Solo. They were going undercover to see where they could get him. And Princess Leia was a, as Boosh. And Chewie here was disguised as bounty hunter Snuva. So here he is in all his glory. It looks like, an, like another Wookiee, but it's Chewbacca. It was definitely a welcome addition. Uh, still has that muscular look. They still held that part. He does have a very unique gun in hand there because they went with a brand new multimedia story. Uh, he got a nice little, you know, chopped haircut on top. And he's got, you know, an eye patch over the one eye and some unique armor. This would be a nice figure for them to update as well. I'd love to have a new version of that. And you can see here Kenner experimenting. I turn it to the back. He's got, you know, the cape attached here. And he does have, you know, some vibro axe or some kind of an axe there on his back. But that comes off and he can go in his hand and it just mounts back on, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's Chewbacca. We got that in 96 and, you know, it was on a purple card back. It said Shadows of the Empire. We did get a video game. We did get a comic series. Actually, it was a cool story that they put in between there. It was nice to have new Star Wars content for sure. I mean, we did have the Timothy Zahn novels, but, and we had the Dark, uh, Dark Empire, Dark Horse comics, but it was really nice to have something that was, you know, endorsed by Lucasfilm themselves. So that was in 96. In 97, uh, the Power of the Force 2 had cinema scenes. There was a Death Star, Death Star Escape where you got Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise, Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise, and you got Chewbacca as a prisoner. So again, Chewbacca still maintains that look like his counterpart in the Power of the Force 2 line that came a few years before, and he comes with 
his arms pre-posed to the front, so they were kind of playing around with pre-posing them in, in poses. Uh, he does have the articulation still at the waist. You know, you can still turn him. Uh, you can still move his arms up and down, but you can't really do much. He's just kind of positioned as the handcuffs on, which is how I have him over here. And they were sitting on a Death Star scene. So that's Chewie when they took him up the elevator, when they were looking for Princess Leia. And they went up to the prisoner corridor, you know, prisoner chamber. So there's Chewie. That was in 97. Uh, next time we'd see Chewbacca would be in 1998. Again, another cinema scene for Power of the Force 2. This time, Minoc Hunt with uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo when they were in that space slug. And they came out to get rid of those Minocs that were chewing up on the wires on the Falcon. And here he is here. And you can see a noticeable chain, change with Chewbacca now. They've toned him down. Not as aggressive on the look. And he does come with that, you know gas mask that kind of goes over his face it does come off which is neat and you see Chewie underneath there as well and he's pre-posed again the cinema scenes they pre-posed the figures to hold the blasters but you know it's such a welcome change to have a new Chewbacca that wasn't beefy and he came with an accessory like this I needed to have it as I'm sure a lot of people did too so let's put that back over so he can breathe properly uh, manning you know the outside of the Falcon keeping it safe so that was Chewie in 98 and you can see we got a lot of Chewbacca's already from 95 to 98. So we'd see Chewie again in 98, this time on the freeze frame, a card back as Bush's bounty. So here he is over here. So he maintains that look like the Minoc one. And this time he's Bush's prisoner. So he's Princess Leia's prisoner. Um, Bush or Bausch, I call him Bush. Uh, prisoner when they went to visit Jabba and they were trying to free Han Solo. So he does have that waist, you know, swivel still, your arms move up and down. Uh, same thing, legs. Uh, head does turn this time, so you have some you know articulation on the head, and of course the chain you know goes right underneath. It's sculpted right underneath his chin there, so he can be her prisoner, which was really cool. Again, at the time, definitely unique to have a, a different version of Chewie than just the standard one. So that was nice to see. Uh, let's place him over there. Next time we see Chewbacca would be on the flashback so same thing on the flashback they would flashback a figure from the prequel trilogy and then showcase something from the new trilogy so uh, Chewbacca here comes with a hot decoration so again a new sculpt on Chewie brand new sculpt and he's got you know his fur covered in snow when and he's roaring and it's when he's outside with Han and they shoot that imperial you know probe droid the probot as they called it same thing you can you know turn him at the waist his arms go up and down again he's pre-posed again all these Chewbacca's do come with a bowcaster so I have the bowcaster here this is the identical one just slightly different color for the one that came out you know with Bush's bounty here as well but that's chewy bowcaster let's show you what it looks like from the back as well so they did some nice weathering you can see you know Hasbro is experimenting with uh, different colors in, in different ways to release Chewbacca and it's such a nice change to go you know with the the prisoner chewy and then to the you know snow chewy the minoc chewy the bounty hunter chewy there's just another reason to keep re-releasing them and for people to keep buying them people like myself crazy people for sure that have a huge passion for star wars so after you know the hoth chewbacca on the flashback we go up a couple years to 2000 power of the jedi line uh, again, Power of the Jedi line happens after the Episode 1 stuff where they merged everything together. So all the sagas together, you know, Episodes, you know, one, uh, 4, 3, and 5 and Episode 1. Sorry, four, so 4, 5, and 6 and Episode 1. And we get Chewie in A New Hope with a Dejaric champion. So he comes with that Dejaric table. Let's pull him out over here, make sure he doesn't bump any buddy. And you can see him, he's got... You know, his, the Dejaric table on there, I can pull him off as well. He does come out, which is really cool. He's got articulation now. You have Chewbacca with, you know, articulated knees for the first time. So he can sit down and, you know, you can move him at the waist as well. That moves back and forth. And you got his arms, you know, pre-sculpted behind his head. So you can't really do anything with him other than have him sitting at that table. But, you know, this is the, the scene in the movie where, you know, he's playing and uh, he yells at R2-D2 and... C-3PO's like, don't yell, you know, he's playing fair. And Han says it's not good to upset a Wookiee. And, you know, 3PO says, it's, well, no one worries about upsetting a droid. And Han says, yeah, that's because a droid doesn't pull your arm out of their socket. And then Chewie gets, you know, all confident and happy. And he puts his arms behind his head. 
stretching, which is, that's the scene, that iconic scene. And you can see, you know, the little players on the table there, which is really cool. Now, an interesting note about this, if you had the original Millennium Falcon, the one they re-released as part of the Power of the Force 2 line, you could actually take out the table that was in there and put this one in. So you can see it does have the hole underneath where you can slip that in there and have him playing chess, which was really, really cool. It's such a nice little thought, thought out design. Uh, so that was part of the Power of the Jedi line, pre-posed Chewie. Definitely a cool one, one of my favorites. And next time we see him in 2001, also as part of the Power of the Jedi line. Now, this figure got released a couple times, so I have the second release, but it's exactly the same sculpt, just different paint job. It is the Chewbacca mechanic, so he came in a brand new sculpt. You can see now they've moved to try and correct the height with Chewbacca. He's really tall. Like, look at the size of this Chewbacca compared to... Musha's bounty, if I put them side by side, like he dwarfs them, looks like it's his son. So Chewbacca, again, you know, they're starting to get into the proper sizing scale for the figures. Uh, this one came with, he's got a swivel arm. Uh, you can move him at the waist again. You know, he's got his pouch, you know, sculpted on there. A lot more realistic, very, very tall. And you can see how his hair, you know, sways and stuff. Now the paint job's a little bit different here because this is from the Saga line, but it's exactly the same figure. But he does come with these two accessories. So the welding torch and the goggles as well. Uh, the chain that came with the Saga one, which we'll go in over a little bit later. So that was 2001, Power of the Jedi. So next time we see Chewbacca, uh, 2002, they did Power of the Jedi. did a 25th anniversary two-pack. Uh, this one, Chewie, came with Han Solo. I'll show you that one over here. I took the Han off. I just want to show you the Chewbacca. And the Chewbacca, again, is pre-posed. So they were doing a lot of stuff where the figures were pre-posed and you're kind of forced, if you were getting them, you're going to be stuck in a pose. But, you know, the pose is so cool. If you do any kind of diorama in front of the Falcon, Chewie's in his position just like Han is shooting. Chewie's shooting his bowcaster. So he's really cool. Again, the detail's awesome. He slouched over. He does have articulation on there, but he can basically do just one thing. And he can, you know, uh, stand on this base here and shoot. That's basically how he is positioned. His arms do move up and down. Uh, he doesn't have any swivel at the waist. He's pre-posed that way. But it's definitely a cool figure. And, you know, they were trying to do iconic stuff with the scenes. You know, Hasbro experimented a lot uh, back in around 2000, 2001, which is really, really cool. So that's Chewie, you know, from the 25th anniversary. O2. Okay. And next time we see, you know, Chewie also in 2002, they did the Star Wars Saga uh, screen scenes. So they had these really cool, these two packs with a trash compactor. So you get a part of a trash compactor in one, part of a trash compactor in another. It was a trash compactor set. So it was Stormtrooper Luke and Han in one set, and it was Princess Leia and Chewbacca in the other set. And the Chewie that we got there is the one that's trying to escape, or Han's calling him, you know, the big chicken and he's you know he hears the trash compactor monster and he just wants he wants to get out of that trash compactor so you know he looks like he's doing a dance move here and you know flexing his butt but he's actually facing the doorway which is really cool chewbacca wise and he does articulation on the arms they go up and down or pause whatever you want to call it they're pre-posed pretty cool his head's kind of you know it does have some articulation but he's basically designed to stand sideways no articulation in the legs but he's basically designed to stand there and, you know, he's trying to get out so you can reenact that whole scene. Uh, definitely a really cool figure. That whole scene was nice. Uh, the bandolier, part of it is, you know, sculpted on. Part of it is hanging off. So it gives it a nice, you know, look. Gives it definitely some depth when you're looking at the figure and how, you know, how much detail is on there. And you can see detail-wise, it's probably the best-looking Chewbacca they've made to date. Just that he's stuck in this pose because they haven't you know, invented all that articulation yet. You haven't moved to that part, part yet. That's coming up very soon. So that's Chewbacca from the dr trash compactor scene. And that was O2. So O2 again, we're going to get some more Chewy love. We're going to get a third Chewbacca of the year, this time uh, Saga on a on a single card, this time with C-3PO in the net. So we get Chewy over here. Let's pull him out. And Chewbacca comes with C-3PO on his net there. And uh, some more articulation this time for Chewie. So his legs, you know, just bend upwards. There's nothing happening at the knees or at the ankles. But on the arms here, we're getting, you know, swivel shoulders. We're starting to move to this area. Really cool. And, uh, sorry, uh, ball jointed shoulders and swivel elbows. So you can see the elbow moves out. And then you can even turn the wrist as well. So they've added a lot of articulation to Chewie here. I mean, this is like, 
groundbreaking at the time you know for us to get action figures that have this much articulation especially when a lot of the stuff in the saga line was you know pre-posed or action posed creating a chewbacca like this was amazing uh now he can't bend his arms but they do swivel which is cool and you can put you know the net on the back with c-3po now the c-3po is uh it's not a full figure it's basically two pieces he's got you know a club together of his of his legs and his lower body and then his upper body and his head uh, separate now the head does come out which is neat on the 3po and this figure i got way back in 2002 and you know if we're lucky maybe the electronics will still work let's give it a shot yeah it's hard to see there but the light does still come on very faintly i can kind of see it it still does come on there so there's a little bit there's a little you know uh, trigger in there when you push the head down with a light lights up on his face which is pretty cool so that chewbacca we got 2002 next we move to 2003 also part of the star wars saga line we get chewy in an updated minoc hunt pose so here he is here he comes with the bowcaster that you know it's got an action feature on it so not the most realistic bowcaster but definitely a really cool updated chewy now swivel knees so not bendable knees swivel knees he does bend you know they do legs do bend at the hip there but he's basically designed to stand now the there is swivel like i mean the swivel there is a swivel back and forth on the wrist and on the elbow here same thing on this side of chewy he's holding his bowcaster and now that mask with the, the the mask that he's got on there when he's doing the minoc hunt looking he it's sculpted onto his head so that doesn't come off this part here is separate but this part here is sculpted right on so again it's more of a you know statue piece sitting on there depicting a specific scene from the movie but definitely a welcome addition with Chewbacca. Now, it doesn't have any waist articulations. They kind of went away from that for a few years. But the legs do move and there is swivel at the knees. And there is, you know, you can, if you want to, you can put them cross-legged or whatever you want with Chewbacca to make him more realistic to how Peter Mayhew portrayed him. So that Chewie's 2003. Then 2004, we get our vintage original trilogy collection Chewbacca. And we get the ultimate sculpt of Chewbacca in this this line so that chewy is this guy over here now this chewy is definitive chewbacca so we have like you know you can move him at the chest you can move him at the waist because he's super tall uh swivel elbows you know articulated swivel you know um elbows shoulders the the hands back and forth as well uh the legs up and down right bendable knees ankle a little bit on there which is nice but the figure can stand really really good and you know our super articulated chewbacca like what more can we ask for the pose is perfect he's super tall this sculpt has been reused so many times from then uh but it's definitive perfect chewbacca like he can even sit in the falcon he can do whatever you want with him and he comes with that open mouth so that chewy we got in 2004 as part of that vintage original trilogy collection then in 2005, they did an early bird set that came with uh, a few figures. Again, they were reenacting that early bird set from you know 19, Christmas 1977. And there was a Chewbacca in there. And they basically reused that same Chewbacca mold from the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. But they gave him a new head, this time with a closed mouth. And you can see the hair is different as well. So the hair is... You know, going back a little further, because that Chewie that they gave us was a Return of the Jedi Chewie. If I put them side by side, you can see the way his hair is over here. You know, he's a little bit older, and they made that look is definitely from Return of the Jedi as opposed to that perfectly combed back look that he had in A New Hope. So that early bird one obviously is depicting A New Hope, whereas that vintage original trilogy collection one came on a Return of the Jedi card back. So that Chewy we got there, and otherwise articulation, everything else is the same as that vintage original trilogy collection one. So beyond that guy, that was uh, 2005. Also in 2005, we get you know the Saga collection, Bush Bush's prisoner Chewbacca. So the updated Chewy with a chain when he goes to visit Jabba the Hutt. That'll be the same one that I showed you a little bit earlier. That was part of that Power of the Jedi line from 2001 as a mechanic, except this time he comes with the chain. So he doesn't come with these accessories. I put it in there to show you the same. They did update the paint job, and he does come with a base that, you know, depicts exactly which figure he is and from when he is. And you can see that same thing with that Jedi look. You know, he does have that, you know, the hair 
kind of coming over like eyebrows like he looked like in Return of the Jedi. So that was a nice chewy. Nice to get a nice super long metallic chain as well. So that chewy we got in 05. Uh, next Chewbacca we get is in 2008, this time part of the Legacy Collection, and this time they gave us Chewie from a deleted scene. So after, you know, our famous rebels stopped Jabba the Hutt and finished them off and saved Han Solo, they were going back to the Falcon and there was a sandstorm scene that was cut out of the movie that they gave us, you know, a finished version of with the Blu-rays, and now Chewbacca got a figure from that scene. So he's got some battle damage from the Battle of Carcoon. And here he is, Chewie. So basically, from uh, this part down, he's almost identical figure to these guys. I think he actually is identical from the head down. But he's got a brand new head. And they, of course, they put, you know, bandaged up his leg on there as well. to And his foot. To show that he's got some damage from that, you know, sandstorm scene. So again, welcome addition. I consider it a new figure just because of that head and the leg. Uh, pink color, he looks totally different. He looks like sand's hitting him, just with the, you know, the lighter color on him. But otherwise, exactly the same figure. If you turn him from the side, you can see the wind is blowing, you know, his hair forward. So he's got that nice look uh, with with weathering, and with the weather, you know, affecting him and this sort of thing. So that's a nice chewy. That's our sandstorm chewy. Let's get him back here. Hope he doesn't knock anybody over. Uh, after that, chewy-wise, we get... Uh, Legacy Battle Pack Chewbacca, this time uh, with the Hoth Deco. So it's basically that early bird Chewie, but with snow paint on him. So I have that on there now. It's basically the same figure. I probably shouldn't be showing you this figure, but the weathering is so nice on him, you know, with the snow on there that I had to consider it another figure. It's really nice. Like I have a Hoth playset and that's where this Chewbacca sits and, you know, ready to shoot down that Imperial probe droid. Now, uh, they did have another figure, the 30th anniversary commemor commemorative set, where they had this Chewie also with snow detail on it, not like this one, a little bit different. And they had him with the open mouth, as opposed to this, you know, closed mouth one. So they did release that snow Chewie a couple times. Okay, so that was from 2008. Now we move to 2009, also Legacy Collection. They made a separate Chewbacca figure, this time with the with him as a falcon pilot so the brand new head same lower body but brand new head on here this is the one that pilots my millennium falcon so he's got the headgear and that you know the headgear's got the wire running down attached to his bandolier here which is really cool otherwise it's exactly the same figure they altered the paint job a little bit on chewy and he's got that head from the vintage original trilogy collection but this time they've just molded that you know headpiece on so he's got the head headpiece on there and it runs around Right around the top there and as a result it makes them a little more unique and again another reason to buy because you need to have a chewy that's in pilot mode for your millennium falcon who doesn't right so once that was done uh, we didn't see chewbacca again for a few more years this time in 2013 so now we get disney purchasing lucasfilm and hasbro almost goes backwards and how they design figures or for whatever reason they decided to do they went back to five points of articulation and a lot less detail in the figures and if you're a collector like myself you're used to this back here right and now you're going to get this so you get a two-pack with han solo and you get a chewbacca and five points of articulation um not the greatest sculpt he looks he almost looks like a zombie a zombie chewy instead of the regular one and he just has five points of articulation doesn't even move out the at the hips but nonetheless they gave us another chewbacca and uh you can't really even see his eyes his eyes are white that's why i call him zombie chewy and he's definitely thinner more narrow a lot of the figures were from that you know mission series line but that's the chewy that we got in that line sculpted on bandolier the color is a bit of a pale brown so even color wise the paint applications were very very simple the bowcaster is a very, you know, light, light gray, definitely a light gray, like no detail on it as well. Very, very minor detail. And, you know, he's got his, you know, trigger hand pre-posed to hold that blaster. And they kind of go along with that design, you know, in the future with the, the sequel trilogy movies as well. Not the exact mold, but that kind of design where that hand is pre-sculpted to hold blasters. So that was in 2013. Standing back there. And then in 2015, with the 
when they did the black series, they had black series figures for six inch, and they also had black series for three three quarter inch. And we got a Chewbacca with that same, you know, vintage original trilogy collection design. This time with a brand new paint job. So this is probably one of my favorite Chewies. And they gave him a brand new head sculpt this time. So they gave him a head sculpt that is reminiscent of him in A New Hope. So he's got the, you know, the fur comb back on his hair as opposed to, you know, the eyebrow look. And this time with the mouth open and nice bright blue eyes on this figure. So definitely reminiscent of that uh, vintage figure. The blue eyes, I love that. The blue eyes on the Chewie, I love that feature on him. So that was, you know, 2015. And that was a part of that black series with the blue card. Okay, let's put him back there. Okay, so we also get Chewbacca, the repack of the 2004 one from the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. We get him with the a black series in one of the little small red boxes. And that'll be that Chewy that we had already looked at prior, this guy here. And it's just an updated paint job. So a little bit more detail than that vintage original trilogy collection one did but same exact figure same head sculpt everything in that aspect so that's an identical release of the chewbacca and that's it for chewy so that's it for chewy from 1978 uh, all the way to present um as far as the original trilogy chewbacca now i'm going to do a separate video or clip just with the prequel chewies and then you know the disney chewy with from the sequel trilogy so prequel sequel uh, Clone Wars, and uh, the Solo movie as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so as promised, I did want to show prequel, sequel, uh, trilogy Chewbacca, as well as the Solo and Clone Wars, Chewie. So with 2005 for Revenge of the Sith, they did make us and show a younger Chewbacca in the movie on Kashyyyk with Captain Tarful, and that's this Chewie here. They did make that figure. Uh, now, he does have articulation at the shoulder where you can move his arms up and down and around. Uh, at the elbows, you can just move it back and forth. It just swivels back and forth. And same thing at the wrist on the Chewy. A little bit of articulation on the head, not much. Now, down here, the legs just turn back and forth. You can't bend the legs. Nothing at the ankles there. You can move them up and down. Now, a lot of these figures did come with action features. Chewy is no exception. Uh, I believe he squeezes legs together. He does, you know, Wookiee Roar. The legs and so the arms go up and the head goes up and chewy can roar in that in that regard he does have his bow caster as well that he came with so that's what we got for revenge of the sith a younger version of chewbacca he looks nice standing there he's got nice detail on him as well uh next that i'll show you here is the clone wars one so chewy did make his debut in the clone wars you know cartoon and they did a phenomenal figure as well so a lot of articulation there you know at, up at the shoulders uh, at the elbows full articulation at the wrist uh, he does have you know swivel at the waist as well he doesn't have it in two spots like the vintage original trilogy collection one but he does have that there he does have a separate bandolier piece that you can put on there uh, on his legs there you know he can bendable knees just to show you that as well uh, and then nothing at the ankles so he's stationary at the ankles he does have that nice Clone Wars look. You can definitely see that he's got the cartoon look on him, which is really cool. Uh, so he's got his bowcaster in one hand, and in the other hand over here, he does have that Transdotion rifle pistol, which is really neat. It's got that, you know, side trigger handle there on the side when they were hunting him. So that was a really cool scene in the movie there with Chewie. So we got that. That was uh, 2005 for the Revenge of the Sith, and then this guy was 2011. And then we'd get a Chewie as well. I don't have a physical picture, uh, figure of him here, but we'll get a picture up from Force Awakens. He did come in a battle pack, armor up pack, whatever you want to call it. And they went back to five points of articulation. And then they would continue that for The Last Jedi as well. They made Chewbacca, which is this one over here. Uh, again, you know, pre-sculpted. They try to make him look, look a little bit older. Chewy wise there, he's got a very high forehead, uh, pre-sculpted arms, again, five points of articulation, you know, no movement at the waist. Uh, I guess the, if you like porgs, then you'd buy this figure to get Chewy with that porg, and you can maybe have him eat it or cook it over the barbecue or whatnot, but Chewy's got that porg in his hand. That's what made that figure, you know, a little bit unique looking. Uh, next figure I have is from 2018 for the Solo movie. They gave us a young Chewbacca. Again, five points of articulation. I do like this figure. He's got a nice, unique look to him. 
he does have that double strap bandolier and he's supposed to be a younger Chewbacca again before you know he meets Han Solo and he meets Han Solo and he can show you what it looks like on the back with that bandolier and that bandolier is a it's sculpted on it's like a separate piece it kind of grooves right into his fur but you can't take that off it'll look really weird if you take it off it'll have a big indent from where that pouch and you know strap was sitting but he's got that double strap so right away you know it's chewy from the solo movie he does have his gun the gun's a little odd how they have it in there uh you can only hold it by that front piece because you can see the back part the handle of that of the rifle is too wide to get in his hand so you have to put that front piece the little small you know stub in there so hopefully that doesn't break or he can't hold his rifle which is kind of weird but nonetheless he holds it, it looks decent in his hand and you put them on your shelf if you like to display your figures from the Solo movie. Now, also in 2018, they had two packs. Uh, Han Solo, he came with Chewbacca for when they first met, when they fell into that pit and he fought Chewie and Chewie was all muddy. And they made a figure of that one. Now that figure, like the paint job and the art, the look of him is awesome. Like the sculpt is awesome. The articulation obviously is, you know, more to be desired. But he's neat. He's got the chain around the leg. Both Han and Chewie came in. He's got a whole mud finish on him. He doesn't have any bandolier here because he was, you know, the beast that was in that pit that they were using on Mimban. And there he is. He can move his arms up and down. Yeah, I don't think you have any movement on the head. A little bit on there. Surprising. A little bit of movement on the head. And, you know, his fur goes right over onto the shoulders from the head, which is neat. It definitely has that, you know, wet look to him. And that's, you know, Chewbacca from... The solo movie, you can see him from the back there, he's all muddy when they were fighting. So definitely a really cool sculpt, and I, I really like that chain that's on the leg there. You can't take it off, but I mean, I guess maybe you can if you wanted to pull it apart here, but it definitely looks nice on there. You know it's supposed to be Prisoner Chewy, and it was a nice addition. He's got a nice height, so he's maintaining that height. If I put him back here to compare him to, you know, the vintage collection ones, he's got the same height. So they're maintaining height-wise is good. So that's it for the prequel, sequel. Clone Wars Chewies and the Solo Movie Chewies. I also wanted to showcase quickly my Black Series Chewbacca's that I have. So Chewbacca did come out in the Black Series as well. Uh, first edition would be this guy over here. Uh, Chewy, now he does have that super articulation just like the 3 3 quarter inch one does. Uh, everything basically moves the same way articulation wise. Ankle, knees, everything, upper body. Now at the legs here he does have you know, ball joints, so you can move them back and forth there, so a little bit better than the the three three quarter inch one. So all they'd have to do is take this figure and shrink them down. We'd have an ultimate one for Chewbacca if we wanted to be able to sit him down in the Cantina or in um, or in the Falcon or whatnot. So that's Chewbacca that we got. So that was the first time we got him. We'd get this exact same figure again in the um, Force Awakens Black Series. So they'd make him again, and they just made a different head sculpt on there to make him look a little bit older. I call that one Raccoon Eyes, so I don't have an open one to show you, but I do have that figure as well. I'll throw a picture up just to show you. The next time we see Chewie, a Chewie action figure, we'd get him in that 40th anniversary, so we'd get the exact same one as this guy here. And then, obviously, with the Solo movie coming out, we got a brand new Chewbacca. That was a cool one. That was an exclusive. He came with that bandolier. So and he's got the goggles on, so the goggles also do come off. So you can have you know Chewie with the goggles off or the goggles on. I keep them on. It's got a nice you know rubber uh, like almost like elastic strap that goes around its fabric, which is really neat. And he's got that bandolier, the unique one that he's got in the movie. He's got his own unique gun, so he doesn't have his crossbow yet. So he's got a rifle uh, bandolier going over, which is neat. And he's got a nice paint scheme as well. He looks a lot younger. And that's the Chewbacca that we got from the Solo movie for the Black Series line. And then there was a, I believe it's an Amazon exclusive that came out towards the tail end of 2019. And we got Chewbacca again. So you can see he almost looks identical to, you know, the Chewbacca we got before. He's got a brand new head. Uh, the bottom piece here looks a little bit different as well. You can see the articulation on the waist is a little bit different than here. We have this in two spots. We have this guy in one spot. Uh, paint wise a little bit different on there i think the rest of the figure is almost exactly the same but this cool one with that new head does come with a c-3po you can see i have 3po sitting in the back there and that c-3po fully assembles as well so this this c-3po comes with you can either have him with the arms and legs with the wires sticking out or you can pull them off and put the regular arms in which i have sitting in the back there and it's actually two figures in one 
It's a really cool set as well for Chewbacca. So that's it for the Black Series one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Put comments below. Look forward to making more videos. Have a great day. 2019 did bring us Chewbacca on two new card backs. One was the Retro Collection Chewie. So that'll be this guy over here. So just like his counterparts from the original saga that they got re-released, Chewbacca is one of them. So we got Chewbacca on that a vintage card again. So that is in 2019. And of course it comes in that packaging with the, you know, worn out look with a nice retro sticker that I love so much. Sarcastic there. Uh, it also comes with Han, a Chewie, Leia, Luke, Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper as well. So that's 2019. Uh, and on top of that, we did finally get an updated vintage original trilogy collection Chewbacca on a original Star Wars card back. So that's a great figure to see um, back on card. Now, this is a re-release of the figure from the Black Series that had the updated head from 2015 that has that, you know, round, um, sorry, the um, flat hair going back over the head on Chewbacca. So we got that as well in 2019. That's the most recent Chewbacca, again, with that reused sculpt. That's a great, it's a fantastic sculpt. I don't know if they can improve on it any better. Maybe if they use that, you know, ball jointed uh, legs at the hips like the Black Series 6 inch one has. Otherwise, we get that figure. And then you can see on the back here the other figures that were available in the wave at the time, too. And that is Vintage Collection figure number 141. So that's Chewbacca 2019, most recent. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to making more videos. Thank you.